Hello everyone and welcome back to Music is My Boyfriend. So it's time for my top 20 songs of 2022. First of all, I just want to say real quick, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded that much. I have other channels and podcasts and I have jobs. <laughs> so been very busy, but don't worry, I still am planning on uploading stuff on this channel. I have videos that I recorded and reactions that I haven't even had time to edit. So first of all, I'm sorry. So let's get into my top 20 songs of 2020. Number 20. Nino from the Linda Lindas from their 2022 album Growing Up because it's a song about their cat and it's the coolest song I've ever heard about a cat ever. It's a punk song about a cat. I mean, why are you not gonna listen to it? Number 19. 15 Again by the London Suede from their 2022 album Auto Fiction. It's a great Brit rock track from an awesome band and I'm so glad that they're still making music. Number 18. The Prodigal by Placebo from their 2022 album Never Let Me Go. And it's a beautiful, light, song you know and it has strings and i'm telling you if you put strings in your song i'm gonna love it <laughs> it's a good chance i'm gonna love the song and it's just different from some of their other tracks which kind of are a little bit darker and harder number 17. another song by placebo their cover of tears for fears shout it's just a really great cover and if you love the original i think you're gonna love this cover some covers are not great but i think I, this cover is just as good as the original. Number 16. Another cover, and this one is from Mexican band Moenia. It's called Maldito Duende. And it's just, you know, another cover that is just as good as the original. Number 15. Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran and Bring Me the Horizon. I like this one way more than the original just because I'm more into harder um music and and sharon he's not really my cup of tea uh, not that i hate him it's just i'm just not that into him but this one with bring me the horizon just it actually makes me like the song <laughs> number 14 another collaboration this one is heidi ho by jack white featuring q-tip from jack white's 2022 album fear of the dawn awesome collaboration a collaboration i never would have thought of myself jack white and q-tip but it's actually really good you need to listen to it if you, especially if you're like what like if you're thinking how that would work you really need to listen to this song. I'm telling you, it's it's a good one. Number 13. Darkness and Shadow by Lycanthorpe from his 2022 Nightmares EP. And um, this is someone I know. And I'm not just putting them on here because I know them. But this is actually a really good song. <laughs> um, I listen to it a lot. It's kind of like a... I don't know, it's kind of, how do I describe it? Just electronic, metal, his, I guess, genre is like American hardcore. So I don't know if you <laughs> know about that genre. I actually just learned about that genre, but it's just like a very high energy song with like metal influences. And then if, especially if you like more kind of darker stuff, things that are influenced by like horror films, just check out his whole EP. It's really, really good. Just check it out, give him a chance, especially cause you know, I know him. So go support him, listen to his stuff if you like it give it a follow. I'll post the link in the description below. Number 12. More collaborations on this countdown. We have Hold Me Closer by Elton John and Britney Spears. What else do I need to say? It's Elton freaking John and Britney freaking Spears. I mean, it was just a great track to dance to and I'm just happy Britney, you know, is out there putting out new music. Hopefully we hear some more from her. If not, it's okay. Whatever she does, I just want her to be happy. Whatever, you know, she doesn't want to put on new music, no problem. But this was just great to hear, especially, you know, because it's with Elton John. <laughs> Number 11, Gravitational by Tom Chaplin from his 2022 album Midpoint. In case you don't know, Tom Chaplin, he's the lead singer of Keen. So some of you may know Keen, but you don't know <laughs> that Tom Chaplin is the name of the lead singer. But yes, he's had a few soul albums and this one's just a beautiful little kind of like upbeat piano track. Number 10, Oh, by the Linda Lindas. Oh my God, the Linda Lindas back again. <laughs> yes, if you haven't heard the Linda Lindas, you need to. Great, especially I think if you have a younger daughter, niece, sister, just let, just have them get them their album growing up girls making punk music it's freaking awesome and this song i like specifically because it's very relatable especially if you're like awkward like me um have like awkward moments have some anxiety just the lyrics are just very relatable and it's just a great punk song like yeah you know it just gets you rocking out so definitely if if you want you know, if you want to get your little girl into punk rock, have them listen to Linda Lindas. I'm sure they're going to be a fan. The Linda Lindas are rising super fast and I'm really excited for them because they're just amazing. Number nine, Jenny acoustic cover by the Studio Killers. First of all, I love this song. I first heard about the Studio Killers back 
like 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago in 2013 when they put out their first album. I loved them back then. I always would tell people about them because I just wanted them to be bigger and more popular because I thought their whole album, their music was amazing. I mean, they're not where I want them to be at yet in terms of fame, but they got a little bit more popular this past year on TikTok, like some of their songs. I think Jenny, I think it was Jenny, got like popular on TikTok and I was like, yeah, I knew about this song like nine years ago. Like it took you guys nine years to finally like discover the song, but okay. But anyway, this uh, acoustic cover they just released this year, so that's why it's on the countdown. The original was released 2013, but this cover was released this year. And it's, you know, it's a very pretty stripped down version of the song with, you know, just acoustic guitar, piano, and violin. I'm telling you, I love stringed instruments. It just makes you kind of see the song in a different way, and it just makes you realize, oh my god, this song is so pretty. Number eight. This one is two versions of a song. It's Bernadette, the acoustic version, and the post-Romanian storm version by IMX. In case you don't know IMX, the lead singer of IMX is Chris Corner, who was the lead singer of Sneaker Pimps. He was the second lead singer of Sneaker Pimps, which is another great band. First of all, I already love the original version of Bernadette, but he released a bunch of other uh, versions of it. But my favorite two, I couldn't decide which one, but my favorite two were the acoustic version, which is a little bit slower, and then the post-Romanian storm version, which is even slower, I think, than the, you know, slower tempo than the acoustic version, and it's just like more theatrical. I just like how kind of slow and like theatrical it was. I'm really happy that IMX put out these new versions. Number seven, and the Linda Lindas are back again on the countdown with Racist Sexist Boy. And this song originally, I think I first heard in 2020, I think that's when it first came out or 2021, I don't know. It's the first song I ever heard of them and it got really popular because I mean, Racist Sexist Boy, hello. <laughs> There's like a video of them performing this punk song in a library in LA. Performing this loud music in a library was pretty funny to see. I just love it because, you know, especially the story behind it, how they wrote it because a boy was racist to the little dr cute little drummer and they wrote this song in response and I thought it was freaking awesome. I was like, yeah, girl power. And if you haven't listened to it, please listen to it. Number six, That That from Psy featuring Suga from BTS. First of all, it's such a fun song and I love the choreography, which is also really fun. And I learned it and I posted a video of me and my friend performing this song, like just doing the choreography. So if you want to check it out, probably post a link somewhere here. And it's just a great collaboration because I liked Psy already. I like BTS and just for them to collaborate. I mean, not the entire BTS, but just somebody from BTS collaborating with Psy is freaking awesome. I was like, oh my gosh. So that just made me happy. And the song is just awesome. It has Psy's humor, you know, that's one thing I look, like about his music. It's just, he has a humor in there. Suga was so great on the track and in the video. Apparently some people say that Suga can't dance. And I was like, what? You probably can't dance, okay? I'm pretty sure Suga dances better than you. So shut your mouth. Number five, Ghost, How Can I Move On from Muse. And this includes three versions of the song. I count that as one, okay? It's the same song, just uh, different versions, okay? I'm not gonna split them up. Like, that's too many. The original was already beautiful, uh, just a little heartbreaking. Matt Bellamy, he wrote it about, you know, people who like lost somebody in COVID. So, oh my God, just breaks your heart just thinking about that. Then they released two other versions with Italian singer Elisa and then uh, French Canadian, I don't know if she, she's from France or Canada, but Mylene Farmer or Farmé, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but she sang it in French. In French? French. Francais. Sorry. Yeah, both versions with the women, I think, just make the song even better. You know, Elisa's is a little bit more like just like powerful, and Mylene is a little bit more like breathy and just like, huh. But they're both really good and it fits very well as a duet. So it was really cool that Muse did this. So I just, I love collaborations. I'm a big collaboration person, especially if it's like two artists that maybe you never thought would work together because it's fun for me to see what the two artists come up with. Number four, we are FNF'd by Muse. Muse is here again. <laughs> I had to put this song on because it's one of my favorite songs from their album. Well, the people, their most recent album and because it's, it's a very relatable song. That's how I've felt since 2020, pretty much. We are FNF. <laughs> it's almost 2023 and I still kind of feel that way. So it's a very relatable song and it's just fun to dance and just like kind of rock out to. When I saw Muse in LA, like hearing that one live is, oh my gosh, the energy is like, yeah. So got to put that on there. Number three, Because of You by Steven Sanchez from his 2022 EP, Easy On My Eyes, because that is such a beautiful song. 
it's one of my favorite songs like love songs i don't really like that many love songs actually but steven sanchez is just amazing at writing love songs that i will actually like oh, it's so beautiful it's just him and the piano like i love the piano and i learned this song on the piano because it was so beautiful i might do a cover of it like post it i'm not maybe not sing it but just play it maybe one day i'll post it so if you want a nice love song to dedicate to someone listen to it careful you might it might make you cry and if somebody dedicates to you dedicates it to you then you might cry so just be prepared this song is gonna make you cry <laughs> all right my top two songs what are they gonna be number two won't stand down by muse i had to have this in my top 20 especially one of my top two songs because i did listen to this one a lot um it was released in january on january 13th i believe this year so i have a whole year <laughs> to listen to it and it's the end of the year and i still love the song it's just so good it's the first single from their well the people album and i just love like the harder like metal dun 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 like that just gets me every time it's just amazing like i know some muse fans don't really like it but I do. Um, so that's all that matters. Only what I like. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> and according to this year's Spotify wrapped, my Spotify wrapped, it was my number one most listened to song on Spotify. And I'm not surprised. I did think that it was because I did listen to it a ton when it came out. And now my number one song of 2023. And some people might be surprised that Won't Stand Down is not my number one, but it's, hey, it's number two. It's still pretty good. But now it's time to see what my actual number one top song of 2023 is. So drum roll. What's it gonna be? My number one top song of 2023. Until I Found You by Steven Sanchez. Yes, congratulations, Steven Sanchez. I know you're not watching, but you know, I just, you made my number one. <laughs> Number one top song of 2023 with Until I Found You. I discovered Steven Sanchez and this song this year. I just fell in love with the song again. Steven Sanchez writes amazing, amazing love songs. And this includes three versions of the song. So the original that was put out as a single, then the piano version, which... I love the piano. I play the piano. So I love the piano version as well. And then his duet with M. Byhold, which is also really, really pretty. All versions of the song are just amazing. I was obsessed with it when it came out and I still love it. And then just knowing the story behind it makes me love it even more. Georgia and I were, were trying to date and I completely pushed her away because of just things within my own family and circumstance that just scared me so bad, you know, to bring her into because she was so loving and so wonderful towards me. I didn't want that to bleed out onto her, you know? I just knew that I would never find somebody else like her in the entire world and that I didn't want to try and, you know, conjure up something similar, you know, or, or try and find someone similar. Like there was just no point because it just, it would never happen. With that line, it was, it was so genuinely like, I would never fall in love again until I found her. And it's true. He's only like 19. He wrote this song when he was 18. But I'm like, dude, you're so young. But, you know, the way he talks about being in love with her, it's, you know, he seems like someone who is older. And it's just a beautiful song. And it just, oh, it just gets me every time. It's one of my favorite love songs ever. Steven, you're just amazing at writing love songs, that one. And, you know, because of you and Until I Found You is another really good one. But that was released earlier. So that's why it's not on here. But I just love it. And it's just a beautiful gift, I think, this song. Just, Steven, thank you for this beautiful gift you've given us and so many people who've used it in their weddings and <laughs> proposals. And hopefully I'll use it for one of those things someday i did a reaction to a version of it or a performance of it so if you haven't checked it out you can and if you haven't listened to it like please just listen to it once in your life it's not gonna hurt to listen to this beautiful song just one time especially if you like kind of like oldies that's one thing i loved about this song is when i first heard of it it sounded like it was a song from like the 50s or 60s or something i'm like what but it's from like this 18 year old <laughs> he wrote it when he was like 18 in 2021 i'm like what and i love oldies so if you like that kind of stuff at least just give it a shot just listen to the song one time just one time and hopefully you'll like it but yes congratulations steven i'm gonna get to see you perform in a few months i'm really excited but you made my number one you're my number one song 
in 2023 and two of them were my top 20 two of your songs so i know you don't care i know you're not watching but <laughs> congratulations so just be prepared to be super famous and be bombarded by fans everywhere i'm predicting it i've predicted this before so when you become famous just everyone come back to me and just tell me how right i was just validate me okay that'd be great um <laughs> and there's some other songs that they were either released this year or released another year but i still really enjoy them so here are my honorable mentions skyline by khalid or khalid i don't know how to pronounce his name <laughs> pac Man by Polish band Mislovitz. They're amazing. Go listen to their stuff. All We Have Is Now, orchestral version by Royal Blood. So beautiful. Other Self by Calva Louise from their 2021 album U4. New Face, New Face, New, New, New Face by Sai. La Chanson du Chevalier by Christine and the Queens. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your top songs are in the comments below. If you want to follow my social media, you can here and i wish you a happy and safe new year's and i'll see you in 2023 bye